Hey there, geeks, and especially SSD and NVMe fanatics. I've got a way to restore a hidden setting here for you. The primary NVMe idle timeout, which basically tells your hard drive that how long to be idle before transitioning to power saving mode, for example. Real quick for the people who are watching going, what? SSD drives are fast and they're small. And NVMe look like little memory sticks and they are faster and smaller and affordable. That you can, on my computer boots in six to 10 seconds. Yeah. All right, so let's do this for everybody who wants to know how to do it. So I've got a link here in the video description to download the files, okay? And I'll show you real quick. Here's our power options. You can see here's your turn off your hard disk setting. And if you're wondering, I got to that by typing in power options and clicking on edit power plan. And you geeks can get there any way you want. Let's do it. Let's add it. You know the drill. Double click the registry file. Click yes, click yes, click OK. Bring this up. There it is. And you can click on it and change the setting in milliseconds. Line your mouse over and you can see it does specify the amount of time it must be idle before transitioning. Now really, 200 milliseconds pretty insanely fast. So most people probably won't want to mess with this, but I'm, I know some of you got to play, right? You got to try it. Don't like it? Click the other registry file. Same thing. Yes, yes, okay. Gone. Now, if you don't want to play with registry files, our tutorial also has step-by-step. -step. This is the registry key right here. So let's open regedit and show you real quick. R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Yeah, you can spell Tim. Click yes. Clear that out. Press control V. Enter. Don't worry about this. Just look over here for attributes. And you can see one. Change the value of data to zero. And that will enable it. There it is. Neat, because you don't have to reboot. So and which reminds me I probably shouldn't have closed regedit, edit, should I? But it'll only take an extra second here. So once again, attributes, change it to one, click OK, close it. Gone. All right. But wait, there's more. If you don't want to play with a registry and you don't want to play with registry files, it's Windows. So guess what? We can do it in PowerShell. Here is your add line. Here is your remove line. So let's do Let's highlight the ad, right click and copy, press your Windows key plus X, oops, yeah, do what you're told Tim, there we go, press Windows PowerShell as admin, press control V to paste that line in, there it is, and of course, if we add it, we must remove it, just in case. Same thing, copy, paste, you can see the difference. Minus, plus, that's it. And ironically, things don't always mean what they mean. Plus, in this case, means we're gonna hide it. Where we go, here we are. It's gone. So there you go, there's three different ways to do that. It's a neat little trick for anybody looking to just tweak that little bit of performance. Maybe they wanna slow it down, maybe they wanna try and speed it up. I don't think it'll change too much, but it's cool and you know, we like to break stuff. What do we say? If it ain't broke, tweak it. See ya.